We started looking inside of these exchange traded funds several months ago because we discovered that a, a handful of stocks represented really big components in these right. indexes, right? They're supposed to mimic their underlying index, but those cap weighted indexes, we discovered like, you know, a, a communications fund was like three stocks were 50% of the weight. Right. Like energy. Yeah, energy is two. 50%. Right? Like 50% two is two stocks. Right. And we, we thought, well, that's really something. So we started by looking at other funds and we they, there are some other exchange traded funds that buy indexes where they equal weight everything rather mm -hmm. than putting all the weight in the biggest stocks. Right. And it didn't perform as well over the last few years. Mm -hmm. And so that that sort of led to us thinking, well, wait a second, why is there such a divergence in performance? Right. And it was obvious that, well, some of the stocks are really huge weightings and others aren't. Mm -hmm. But then it led to this questioning, well, what is driving the returns? Right. So that's the question. It's, so it's more than just market cap. We're, we're learning a lot of stuff and we're thinking through this in different ways. And I know we're not unique in the investment world. Other people have thought about this because they have built different types of investments on these premises. Right. But what I think is really interesting is how what drives return also changes. Right. So what drove returns a year ago may not be what drives it right. now. And I got to tell you, first of all, if you want to get caught up, you got to go to the podcast, right? If you're just joining us, grab the podcast and you can listen to the whole show next time.